I am Lon Therrien, author of the book Deceptive Gods Confronting the Divine and Demonic. In this video, I'm going to talk about the incubi and succubi, or in its plural form, the incubus and succubus. I'm going to discuss what I believe it to be based on my own personal experiences. Now, the incubi and succubi, incubi being the male sex demon and the succubi being the female sex demon, is a belief that's been around for you know, thousands of years. But is this true? Is there really a female form of the energy being and a male form of the energy being trying to seduce men and women? In my experience, no. In the book Deceptive Gods, you would read that I had a succubus that wouldn't take no for an answer. I battled this succubus for many years. And at that, during those early years, yeah, I believed what I read, I believed what I heard. I believed that it was a, you know, this, this female, this Lilith uh, creature that um, was trying to seduce me, both in the during the waking and uh, uh, dream state uh, of my life. But as the years went on, I learned that the being was able to be both, and when I say being, in this particular case, one of the species of beings that I noticed that has this capability was the hooded shadow and the hooded shadow was capable of appearing as as I have mentioned in the previous video on ghosts appearing as both a ghostly human male and a ghostly human female I could tell because I was familiar and could recognize the energy from many, many years of encountering this presence. Now, of course, if you've only experienced it once in your life or a couple of times in your life, it's easy to be fooled because they're, they're masters of deception. But over many years of recognizing the present, feeling the presence and the energy within that presence more so than how it appeared is how I finally recognized that when the hooded shadow was present, let's say if it was in the corner watching, I recognized this energy. When the succubus which in in the waking state its presence felt physical you actually could feel physical touch you could ask actually feel the physical like this physical weight if it was on top of you or let's say on your back depending on how you were sleeping so it was, it was capable of feeling very real. That's why it's, it's easy to, uh, for some people to get hooked. You know, it feels like a physical body. You know, they know how to seduce. They know the sensitive parts of your body. They know where to touch. They know where to caress. They know what to say. They know if you have a desire for, let's say, uh, somebody beautiful in the entertainment industry, they will appear as so. 
if you have someone in your past that you were in love with, still have some feelings for, it knows to appear looking like this particular person. Now, it is true what many say, it's never exact, but close enough for you to surely be fooled. And it'll also take bits and pieces of what you, what you desire uh, or what you find attractive. Bits and pieces of various people, whether it be a male or a female, and create, you know, it could be a, a very handsome male or a, a very beautiful woman. So they have the ability, they know that sex sells. And it's not just the physical world and those that make big money in the industry of selling sex, they're not the only ones. They're, these beings have known it for thousands of years since they've been interacting with humans. So they use this the sex, they use this appearance, they use this, uh, they seduce you in order to create the relationship. Now for me, maybe different for many who had maybe one or the other, maybe you've, uh, pretty much everybody's had dreams where some of the dreams and maybe they're trying to seduce you or maybe you know sex takes takes place or maybe there's you know you're in these uh, kind of like what uh, a Gautama Buddha experienced you know where you got these multiple women or men or whatever trying to seduce you you know in various scenarios various dreamscapes this happens to everybody obviously not just Gautama Buddha. <laughs> you know, the, this is the nature of the being. Uh, what Gautama Buddha faced, we all face. Uh, I faced it, as I was saying, both in a waking state and in a dream state. And when it would try one particular form, let's say of a woman, if that didn't work, then they try another form. If that didn't work, then it'll start going to maybe someone past relationships and appear as that form. There is no end to the forms it will take to seduce either a man or a woman. There's no end. There is no limits um, if they want to create a relationship and uh, distract you from Maybe something that they don't want you to achieve. In my case, it was extreme because of the book Deceptive Gods. Because I was uh, investigating the unseen and sharing or educating others in what I evidence that I had found. The beings don't want those of us who have the experience to educate others. They don't want that. And there is humans, I assure you, controlling and manipulating humans who don't want us to share uh, our experiences. Because there's many that profit by a lot of the uh, BS when it comes to these particular beings. So there is no, in my experience, there was no, the two, just like in my last being on, uh, last video on ghost, both the ghost and the hooded shadow were one. During the investigation, 
I would highly suggest reading the book Deceptive Gods so you will know exactly what I encountered. You know, this Deceptive Gods is a true story. It has the conversations that took place and I left nothing out. It has all the dreams and visions that I went through um, as the being was trying to seduce me or take me off my, my path uh, as it does to uh, those who are trying to find the truth, you know, trying to uh, awaken to their true nature. Gautama Buddha uh, experienced. So, once these beings have, have formed the relationship, let's say they've got you now. Like many people I've encountered, they actually, these people that want these type of dreams, they want these sexual type dreams, they're lonely. They want, you know, a dream of, you know, some man seducing them or, you know, some woman seducing them. They desire it. They desire it. Being will deliver. You know. Then they get hooked on it. Now you know. Now they want to see this particular uh, lover, the sex demon. But again, they usually just think it's a lover. But they just—it's like porn. Okay. I mean, before there was porn, <laughs> there was these beings creating porn. You know. Today, they've got assistance with porn. You know, the being wants to get your sexual energy going so it can feed off of it. Porn gets your sexual energy going. And you find yourself, if you continually watch porn, it's going to drain you. These beings will drain you. Now, I'm not saying porn is good or bad. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying it will drain you. It, if it dominates your consciousness now, and that's all you think of is porn, it's going to distract you from succeeding in life. It's going to take control of your life. This is what the beings do. Before there was porn, and today they got the assistance of porn. So they don't have to, no longer, no longer do they have to just give you dreams to to get your sexual energy going so they can feed and connect and create a relationship, they have porn. So now you're watching porn, your sexual energy is going, it's natural, it's gonna happen. You know, running through your body, the being can feed. With the assistance of porn. So porn and, you know, the demons influence dreams work the same. And once the being has you hooked and the relationship is formed, there's things it's doing that you're not aware of. Remember, the being has electrical connections to many. The being may even tell you that it loves you. That it loves just you. Oh, it will come up with some beautiful stuff. So, it can speak beautifully, it can talk about love, it may give you a loving dream, it's beautiful, but there's the other half. We find this even in our relationship with humans, human relationships. You're in a relationship, the person can say that they love you. They could, you know, give you cards and gifts and, and treat you great. You know, you think that this person really loves you. You're sold. Yet behind your back, they may be connecting with other people. They got relationship with others. Texting, you know, emailing. And all the various forms, because we have that digital world today that gives us the ability to connect to others in the same way that these beings always have. These beings connect electrically through, you know, 
but the communication is through electrical impulse. This tree, scientists know that these trees and these plants are communicating through electrical impulse. They know that mushrooms communicate through electrical impulses. Our nervous system is communicating with our brain through electrical impulses. All this is done through electricity. When we, you know, all accept this truth, you'll start to understand how this whole unseen world interaction takes place. So, incubus, succubus, incubi, succubi, my experience. And again, if you want to, to know more about this, uh, the book Deceptive Gods is available through Amazon. Read the book. If you have any questions, you know, put it in the comments, um, and I will, I will put out another video to answer your questions if it's something that you know, that I can truly answer. Um, the incubus and succubus is the, there is no just recognize there is no male female. These are energy beings. There's no male female. If you'd like to see more of these videos or like to see hear more about the unseen where I'm going to share over half a century of knowledge please subscribe to the channel if you liked it give it a thumbs up and thanks for watching